Hi, children. Good afternoon. Today, afternoon, we are talking about chapter 3. That means pair of linear equation, two variables continue. Pair of linear equation in two variables. This is the chapter 3. Morning, we did this one. Then again, we can continue this one. Pair of linear equation in two variables. Here we are talking about algebraic method. See all of you write this algebraic method. Two methods are the one is algebraic method and other is graphical method. A geometrical method we can say. Graphical method tomorrow we can discuss each other. Now listen here. Algebraic method. Elimination by substitution and doing. You can do elimination, one method in the test you can see elimination method after the substitution method. Or we can combine that elimination by substitution. Question will be solved or find the solution. Okay, listen. In the past paper, you can see like that, find the solution, solve. This year also we can expect the question from there. Now, for example, at 5x plus y is equal to 70. This is the question one, the pair of one equation, one equation and pair of the second equation. This is the pair of linear equation in two variables. We know this equation has solution consistent because a1 by a2 not is equal to b1 by v2. Yes. So it have solution consistent. So we can try to find the solution. Now look here. Here x is there, here y is the the coefficient is far. But here instead of y, instead of x, they are writing y. By purpose that it is y. So be careful. You can do, you can arrange this one. This is an equation. LHS and RHS, we can do many things. Now, can I arrange this one? Yes. You can see the next page. Look here, second page. I arrange this one. What arrange this X and Y exactly 5X and 11X down, place Y. Here Y and, y and minus Y. So it's the same equation. Can I write this is equation one and this is equation two. Okay, now how can we solve this one? It is pair of linear equation in two variables. So we have to solve this one. You can try. Okay, what to do? First, variables x and y, x and y. Now look the coefficient. Here 5 is the coefficient, here 11 is the coefficient. Here, one is the coefficient, here minus one is the coefficient. And 17 and 31, the constant. Okay, fine, it's a good question, nice question, easy question, I can say. Because we are checking the coefficient. We can see here y and y, we can make the coefficient same, yes. We are not bothered about the sign here, that is addition or subtraction we can. 5 and 11, no, we cannot make the coefficient same. But here the coefficient are same. If the coefficient are same, what I can say, 1 and 1 minus 1, I know. So we can add this one. This is a method. What to do? Equation, you can write like this, all of you, please. Equation 1 plus 2. We are adding equation 1 and 2. What you are getting? 5 plus 11. What is 5 plus 11? 16x. Now you can see here what is y plus minus y. Zero. Now 17 plus 31, that is 48. Now we eliminated. Now where is the y now? Before I told you, you have to, if two boys are there, you have to give ice cream something that the boy, 
then when he is busy, you can defeat other boy like that. No, there is no why now. We eliminate him. Are you following or not? Because y minus y, that is zero. So 16x is equal to 48. Am I right or not? So from here, x is equal to 48 by 16. That we know 3, 3, 6 are 18, 3, 10, 6, 30. That means exactly 3. 3 into 16, 48. So we got x is equal to 3. Now all of you please look. Here x and y we had to find out. As we got eliminated x. No, sorry, eliminated y. There is no y in this equation. Now after that, now we can find out the value of the y. Two variable x and y. Now substitution. This is elimination by substitution. All of you please follow the procedure. Substitution. Okay, we can substitute. Substitute the value of x. Substitute the value of x. x is equal to 3 in equation 1. Because equation 2 is harder. This is very easy, I think. So plus C, the, that is easy for it. Now, substitution. Substitution x is equal to 3 in 1. That means we can say substitute. Substitute. You can substitute this. What is the substitution method? We can substitute now. Please substitute x is equal to 3. All of you, please substitute x is equal to 3 and tell me the answer what is happening in equation 1. So, what is the equation 1? 8x plus y, not 5x. 8x, that means 5x. 5x plus y, that is equal to 17. What is your x? 3. 5 into 3, not 53. 5 into 3 plus y, that is equal to 17. So, that is equal to, what is 5, 3, so 15. 15 plus y. That is equal to 17. We got the equation now, linear equation, one variable. We studied how can we solve this one. X is equal to 3. We got the answer. Now we are getting Y. 15 plus Y is equal to 17. Tell me what is the answer of Y now? 2, 17 minus 5. Or 15 plus 2, 17. That is 2. That means we got the answer. We solved the equation. Can you see? Now here, x is equal to 3. And this is correct. This is correct. x is equal to 3. And y is equal to 2. Both are correct. That is the solution of a pair of linear equation in two variables. Understand, this is a pair of linear equation. Can you see two, two lines? See two lines. Can you see here? I think you can see. This is line, intersecting line here. We have one solution. So what is the solution here? X is equal to 3 and Y is equal to 2. It is the solution. That means unique solution. Now, when two lines are with you, that means pair of linear equation. A linear equation means a line. It's a line. Here, two variables, there's also a line. Linear equation, two variables, is a line. Linear equation is a line. Linear, that is line. L -I, line, L-I-N-E-E-A-R. L-I-N-E-A-R, line, linear. You can maybe like this. You can see overlapping this condition, the second condition. Many solutions. Every point x x is equal to 2, y is equal to maybe 10, or many, many solutions are there in this. Here, one solution we found now in this question, these two pair, one, two equation, one pair of linear equation, pair of linear equation, two variables are like this. 
or light is in the circuit. Another condition is there may be parallel, here no solution. If two lines are parallel, there is no solution, no solution, not in the circuit. That is the three conditions we explained. Now listen here. We got the question, we got the answer, sorry, I gave you an example, we got the answer. That is x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 2. You can check that from home. You can check the answer. It, it is correct or not. We can check. No problem. Now look here. Another question. Second. Listen. Second page, third page, we can see. Another question. B. You can tell me any question, no problem. You can tell any question. Any question you can tell. Here many questions are there. You can see. Now, y minus 4x. y minus 4x. That is equal to 1. Again, I think it's the question y minus 4x. Then 6x minus 5y. 6x. 6x minus 5y. Okay, fine. You can do here. Listen here. Minus 5y. Minus 5y. That is equal to 9. What is this pair of? Linear equation into a variable, right? First equation is y minus 4x. And second is equation is 6x minus 5y. So, how can you solve this one? It's a pair of linear equation in two variables. Tell me how can we solve this one, please. All of you, please. Tell me how can we solve this one. Okay. Because we have to can arrange, you can arrange. Okay, fine. Please arrange it. All of you please arrange and try to do. This is the question. This is the first equation and this is the second equation. How can we do? Okay, and do it like this. Please do. All of you please. You know, mass is leading by doing do this one. 6s minus 5y, I am writing. 6s minus 5y, that is equal to 9. 6s minus 5y is 9. Where is x? x is here. So bring x down, exactly down. Don't put x here. You cannot add or subtract. So minus 4x. Minus 4x. Plus y, be careful, not minus y. That is equal to 1. This is exactly the same as our equation. This is the second equation, and this is the first equation. Look, second equation, and this is the first equation. What I did in the first equation? What I did? First equation. I arrange the equation only. What is x? What is the coefficient? Minus 4. So minus 4x plus y. Why I did this? So for addition, vertical addition you can do. Now after that, as before. Here. But if you are adding this, nothing will be eliminated. You have to make the coefficient same. First example, coefficient were same, minus 1 and 1. We can add, eliminate. We had to eliminate. All of you, please look here. Here, minus 5 is there here. What is the coefficient? 1. So, don't confuse. Don't try. Here also, we can make 6 and 4. Since we cannot make 4, 4, we cannot make 6. We can make the 6, 4, so 24, we can make. Or 12, we can make 6, 12. 6 into 2, 12. 4 into 3, 12. But it is easy. Here, minus 5, we can make very easy. 
far, far, we can make with it. Minus or plus doesn't matter. We can add or subtract. Can I make far? Yes. Multiply by far. What I am doing here? All of you, please listen here. Minus 4x plus y. What I did? Indo, indo far. That means equation. All of you, please. Equation 1 into 5. Tell me what is 1 into 5. Equation 1 into 5. All of you, please look. Equation 1 into 5. 5 4 are 20 minus 20x. There's no confusion. 5 4 are 20 minus 4. 5 into 4, 20, minus 20x, plus 5 into y, 5y. That is equal to 1. 1 into 5. Every term you have to multiply, that is 5. Am I right? So I am naming this equation 3. Minus 20x plus 5y is equal to 5. We studied an equation we can... Multiply or divide every term by same number. 4 into 5 minus 20, 1 into 5, 5y, five 1 into 5 again 5. Now, equation second has exactly the same thing. We can write right this so 6x plus 6x plus, no, sorry, 6x minus. Be careful about the sign. Sign is very important. A mass and every word plus a minus one. She says minus 5y. That is equal to 9. This is exactly equation 2. So all of you please listen. We change the coefficient same for elimination. Elimination by substitution method we are doing. Okay, fine. Here you can see 5 and minus 5 as before. What you have to do? I think we can add this one. Add or subtract. We have to eliminate the y. Because plus and minus is the, we can add. That is better. It will cancel. So equation 3 plus 2. Equation 3 plus 2. That give. What is minus 20 plus 6? 6 is minus 20. That is minus 80. No, sorry, minus 6. 20, 20 minus 6. That means 40. This is minus 14. Because whenever you want to add two numbers of different sign, find the difference and put the sign of the big number. So here 20, 20 minus 6 is 40. And sign of the big number 20 is minus 40. Minus 14 x is equal to what is plus 5 minus 5? Zero, sir. Yes, fine. Zero. Five mangoes. You people ate all mangoes. Five. Five minus zero mangoes. Four. Okay, fine. Now that is equal to 14. Yes. Five plus nine is equal to 14. Now we got x is equal to that means 14 divided by. 14, that is minus either everywhere you can numerate, you have to give minus. Minus 1 is the answer. Where is the y? No more y, we eliminated y. We made the coefficient equal. Correct or not? Here equation was 1 and 2. In equation 2, we kept like that. But equation 1 into 5. Equation 1 into 5. Here it is. 1 into 5. Can you see? Equation 1 into 5, not 1 into 5. I know. 1 into 5 is 5. One child told me before. Sir, 1 into 5 is 5 or 1 into 2 is 2. Like that only. No, equation 1 into this is equation 1 into 5. So, coefficient say. Tell me, why are we doing like this? We had to make the coefficient say. Here coefficient is 1. Here coefficient is 5 minus 5. So we have to make coefficient the same. So better we can multiply by 5, the 5 y. Now after that add it, we got x minus 1. Very good, we got the value of x minus 1. Our work is over. Because now it became linear equation in one variable. 
You got the axis minus 1. Now substitute as before. Substitute in. Substitute in. Which equation you can say? Any equation doesn't matter. Minus 4x plus y, no problem. Or 6x minus 5. I am doing equation in 1. Now all of you please listen to me. Equation 1. Can I write y minus 4x? y minus 4x is equal to 1. Do you agree this one? y minus 4x is equal to 1. Correct? y minus 4x because minus 4x plus y that is equal to 1. That means y minus 4x is equal to 1. What is the value of x here? Minus 1. Please substitute that in equation 1 y minus 4x. So what is x is equal to minus 1? All of you please substitute that. Okay, Asna, please substitute. Okay, please substitute. Okay, fine. Now, x is equal to minus 1. Do you agree minus 4x plus y is equal to 1 is exactly same as y minus 4x? Any confusion? Ishala, any confusion? Okay, you understood. Good. Now, what I can say, y minus, be careful, don't take this minus. Minus 4 into, again, x is minus 1. So, be careful, minus into minus is the, no, that is equal to 1. This is exactly the equation. 1 minus y minus 4x. y minus 4 into minus 1. You know that minus into minus plus 4. y plus 4 that is equal to 1. We got the answer. What is this? 4. y minus 4 into 4. That means y plus 4. That is equal to minus. But be careful here. X is equal to minus 1. So we have to find out the value of Y. Y minus minus Y minus 4 into minus 1. That means Y plus 4 is equal to 1. Then Y is equal to, please tell me what is Y is equal to. All of you, please check this one. Y plus 4 is equal to 1. So, Y is equal to 1 minus 4. Am I right or not? Y is equal to 1 minus 4. What is 1 minus 4? All of you, please tell me what is Y minus 1 minus 4. I don't have place here. Next page. I am continuing here. Can I? Y is equal to 1 minus 4. What is 1 minus 4? Tell me 1 minus 4. Okay, minus 3. Here we got the answer. Both are negative answer. X is equal to minus 1 and Y is equal to minus 3. Is that me? I think you understood this one. Please, all of you, please check. Any doubt is that you can find out. You can ask me. Please try. Try. And you can ask me any question, doesn't matter. What I told today about the pair of linear equation in two variables, that means here also it is intersecting line because A1 by A2 not is equal to B1 by B2 consistent. Only one solution, unique solution. Here we are in the X and Y, X, X, X. We have got here minus 4, the same equation, this one. After that, we arrange the coefficient, say, same coefficient. We made it by multiplication. Now, elimination method, we eliminated y. Now, minus 4x plus x, like that, we got this one. Addition, equation 3 and equation 2. Don't say 3 plus 2, 5. Equation 3. And equation 2, addition is here. 
minus 14 x is equal to 14 so x is equal to we got the answer x is equal to minus 1 then that we substitute substitution is the in substitute we can say substitute in 1 y minus 4 into minus 1 that is equal to y plus 4 is equal to 7 y is equal to 1 minus 4 transpose in or you know y plus 4 is equal to 1 not 7 y plus 4 is equal to 1 so minus 3 the answer 1 minus 4 that is minus 3 so we got the two answer minus 1 and minus 3 all of you please check this one from form two equation we have to you please check the answer from home don't believe me as is like that so i think you understood the concept that means pair of linear equation in two variables as one solution here because a1 by a2 not is equal to zero tomorrow we can do graphical method i told you all of you please think the graph x y like that how can we represent on graph and how can we solve this one in between any doubt is there you can ask me does it matter more question i will send you in the whatsapp okay fine we shall okay then